All are one in a clergy, doesn't seem to be in the building, um, but as I call your names, as I call your names, I would like you to come up here and um, receive this something. You'll see it when you get up here. So, first off, like I said, all of our women in clergy is not here. Let's start with... Oh. Let's start with Evangelist Renee Wright. All right. There's a story about some of the women of clergy. Renee Wright, I, I met her when I worked with Donna Brown and Girl the Gangs. Um, she's a traveling minister that does gospel parades. And I don't think she knew what she was getting into when she met me because I argued with her too. But she argued back. She's a very feisty lady. But we travel, we go in and out of prisons. Um, we've been to Little Rock, Arkansas, New York, and New Jersey, and then maybe we're going to Chicago. Wow. She's a, we've also traveled other places, been pulled over by the police. <laughs> so I want to thank her. She is the leader of the seven faithful pastors. The next young lady is very special to us as well, and that is Bishop C. Bridgewaters. That is one of the other challenges that we bring to the prison. Bishop, we want to thank you. Continue in prayer. Okay, so you know what? I just want to go ahead and shout their names out. They're not here, but Evangelist Dorothea Johnson, Pastor Brenda Spann, and Pastor Rosie Molina and Pastor Sharon Matthews. The last three that we have, I'm going to let um, Bubbles do those three because they're very, very dear to her. But we're all dear to her. So. Okay. Um, would Evangelist Robin Cash please come up? Robin is a great supporter of SWAG. She's also seems like the shot caller on the 5 a.m. prayer line until Mama McAfee bumps it up a notch. <laughs> so I'm going to thank her, let her know that SWAG we appreciate you, and we love you. She's also one of our volunteers. Now, this person is very small in stature, but might be very, very mighty in God. Along with one other person, I call her my best friend. She's praying me through. She's actually the first one that got me into the church house. We've been through hell and hot water and back, and we made it through. And this certificate is for evangelists. This last person stepped into my life maybe about a year ago. 
And with her, I, I've grown a lot. Her and uh, Bishop Bridgewater have watered the seed that was wilting. Amen. A lot of times I started to give up, but she encouraged me along the spring one night when I was going to give up. To step out on faith. And ever since that night, I went back to the place I was residing. I packed up all my things and I practically ran out of that house. This certificate is for Dr. McGuire Fulton. Yeah. Some men, some black men. And God says the man is 
next to him. And we're next to the man. So women, if we don't push our men up, the world don't look at them like a man. They're going to keep treating them like they second class citizens because we do too much of this. We need to shut up and get on our knees. When he ain't doing right, stop talking about him. Stop talking about him in front of your kids. Get on your knees and take it to the Lord. And I promise you if you take it to the Lord, he going to change that man. You can't change nobody but yourself. So don't, don't keep badgering the man. You ain't got no job. You ain't making enough money. We still live in this same community. Well, then woman, shut your mouth. Stop spending so much money. You'll get that house. You'll get that other community. But you're so busy wanting to keep up with whatever.